RimWorld is a game of great depth, and one that doesn't hold your hand. You learn most things the hard way. So here are 10 mistakes to avoid if you don't want to feel really daft. By the way, some of these mistakes contain spoilers for the first 8 episodes of my current Let's Play series, so pfft. Don't make every colonist do every job. It's tempting to use the priority screen to get as many people doing each job as possible, but you'll almost certainly end up with jobs that never get done, especially low priority jobs such as cleaning. Aim for as few ticks as you can get away with. Specialise. Don't neglect your supply chain. Even when you've carefully prioritised tasks, sometimes your colonists are failing to do a job for really dumb reasons. Maybe you use up all the wood already, you idiot. Or you forgot to add bills to the workbench, you idiot. Or the one colonist who's assigned to building is stuck in the hospital, idiot. The game won't tell you when you're being an idiot, but I will. Don't shoot each other in the back. I've definitely been guilty of allowing this to happen more than once, during early raids where I've complacently chucked a combination of melee and ranged fighters into a fight, only to have the ranged character shoot the melee character. Oops. A badly aimed bullet can easily injure animals too. Don't be fooled by appearances. You have a base that looks clean, you've manually ordered Matey Boy to clean up that pool of blood and bits of sick, and yet everyone's still getting pissy. So how clean is your house? Use the beauty toggle button at the bottom right to uncover all the hidden dirt that's uglying up your nice wooden floor, and then beef up your cleaning detail. That button will reveal a lot of other things you may not have thought about, such as forgetting to lay floors under doors, or the fact that mountain you're using instead of walls is as ugly as sin. Don't fire an incendiary launcher at your own building. Do you have a flammable wooden colony? Do you have an incendiary launcher? This kind of writes itself, but the best laid plans and all that, you know. Don't let your animals eat you out of house and home. It's easy to forget that animals need to eat too. One day, you learn about how animals make effective killers during raids, tame a whole bunch of them, and then later find you have no food left. The reverse is also true. Make sure your tame animals do have access to food. Don't, for instance, restrict them to a pen and leave them to starve. Don't use weapons to pacify one of your colonists. If one of your colonists has a mental break where they need to be pacified, send in a colonist with bare hands to attack them. This is the least risky way of doing it. Using weapons can result in death and general scenes. Don't be complacent about your food supply. Your food supply can be wiped out instantly by blight, and very quickly during a cold snap event where the temperature can drop far below the minus 10 degree mark that most plants need to live. As soon as you can, consider growing at least some of your crops indoors, where you can control the temperature. Basic stuff, but also always have a large supply of food, even in summer, and keep everything in a room that's as close to 0 degrees Celsius as possible. Preferably close to the kitchen, for efficiency's sake. Don't leave your batteries out in the rain. And batteries should be kept under a roof. Leaving them exposed to the elements can result in short circuits and general shit baggery. The same goes for sun lamps. Don't mess with Frank. Even apparently harmless animals can hurt your colonists, or worse. My colony has a pet cat called Frank, whose bloodlust knows no bounds. He has killed, and he will kill again. In fact, one day you'll wake up in your bed, and Frank will be sat there on the bed sheets, watching you with a cruel smile. You will be paralysed, he will get up lazily, and start walking up your prone body as you scream, and you scream, and you scream! Anywho, if you have your own mistakes to suggest, leave a comment below. Or, if you're watching this on your TV, just shout it incoherently at the dog. And do check out my current Let's Play RimWorld series, now I've totally spoiled it for you, and subscribe to be notified about when new videos go live. And check out my Patreon if you want to buy me a thank you beer, and cheers for watching. Uh, Frank is sitting right beside you by the way. No, don't look!